Dr. Mike Tyler from the University of Adelaide. Mike, can you tell me a little bit about your career? How did you get started um, in the research on frogs? Uh, I suppose um, everybody at some stage in their life um, captures frogs and uh, looks at frog spawn and rears tadpoles through. Um, then they go on to motorbikes and girls. Um, I may have got on to girls at some stage, but um, I continued to work on frogs and uh, uh, I hi hitchhiked to Australia in um, about 1958-59 uh, to work on frogs in Australia and New Guinea. And um, that was how it all started and since then I've just worked on frogs and uh, uh, undertaken a lot of research. Most of it applied on, I say, I act as a, in a rather pragmatic way. I believe that people will care about the environment if they are, um, can demonstrate that there's a benefit to humans from doing so. And that's been my philosophy and uh, in recent years I've been developing new chemical compounds from frog skin and uh, I felt that this is the way to go to ensure that we uh, look after frogs in the long term. So in the, in the world of academia, in, in, the, in the study of frogs, yeah. where do you sit within the, the world? Uh, I understand that you're considered to be quite an expert. Uh, uh, it's not for me to answer that sort of question, but yeah, um, I guess that's so since I've given my entire life to working on frogs. Um, and um, yeah, I, I care. I care about the environment very much indeed. And uh, I'm extremely disturbed about some of the things that are happening sure. uh, as a result of uh, major problems to the environment. And, and the, I understand that you are actually called the Frogman. Yeah. By, by many people. Yeah, yes, I, I wonder whether if I worked on earwigs or slaters or something like that, whether I would have had the opportunity to have as much impact. But I, I don't think so. Uh, now, I, when I go in a taxi and uh, the guy says, you know, what do you do? And I say, I work on frogs. And he said, ah, frogs are the canaries in the, in the mine, you know. Yep. And I realised that I've achieved something. Yeah, well, that's great. And and quite obviously, um, you travel a lot internationally. And yes. you, do you, yeah. Yeah. You're, you, obviously, during your career, you presented a number of articles and published a lot. Yes, how, many, uh, how many articles have you published in your career so far? I've uh, written 23 books and about 450 scientific papers that have been, you know, in review, yeah. It sounds like quite a prolific academic yeah, career. Yeah, I can't stop myself. <laughs> you can't stop it. <laughs> well, as so long as there are problems in the environment, I think that we've got to encourage you to keep going. Yeah, I, let's hope so. Yeah, well look, thank you very much, Mike. It's a great pleasure.